Breaking news once again on the Cowboys report. The second signing of the day and the second outside free agent pickup is Ronald Jones, the former Chief and Buccaneer running back, taking his talents to Dallas on what we know so far is a one-year deal. And the Yacht Boys are actually making moves. They've signed two outside free agents in more classic Cowboys move. Ronald Jones, Chuma Adoga earlier today. They made the big-time trades for... Uh, Stephon Gilmore, Brandon Cooks. So if you like the Cowboys wheeling and dealing and making moves and having their most aggressive offseason in a decade, then like the video right now. I suspect that every single person is going to like the video outside of the uh, Eagles and Giants fans who watch the show because they're closet Cowboys fans. More on the, or I guess I say the news of the day. That's Ronald Jones. One-year deal. Other contract details are not known. My suspicion here, and we'll see what the numbers say. We'll probably know in about 24-ish hours here. My suspicions are that this deal will not be a roster lock contract, much like they've done in the past. Players like a ha-ha Clinton Dix did not make the team. Even Dante Fowler last year wasn't assured a roster spot. I think they'll do the same thing with Chuma Adoga. One-year deal. Limited, if any, guaranteed money, maybe 50% of what will probably be a one-year 1.2, 1.3, maybe some extra incentives, maybe a little bit more money uh, contracts, and put him in a position to fight for a roster spot this season. Because the former second-round pick is not what he once was at his best. I liked him, like I know many of you did, at USC, that this would be an awesome football player uh, the second year at the Bucks, I'm like almost a thousand yards 5.1 yards for, for, per carry here comes the breakout I had a second round grade at him and a lot of people did too he's a very popular product from USC in that draft class never quite worked out one very good year one okay year two years he wasn't making the type of impact you would expect there barely played at all last year for the Chiefs after his first couple years with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers the 2020 year, I'm like, there we go. Didn't and barely, by the way, barely played at all in 2018, his first year, I, I should say. Year three was in 2020. Never quite panned out the way we were all hoping he was going to be. Maybe in Dallas, he can have a career resurgence slash career saving. That's where we're at at this stage with Ronald Jones. So grade the signing. A, B, C, D, or F. Sound off for me in the comment section, the pinned comment of today's video. So if an ad break comes here on YouTube, head down there, go grade the Ronald Jones signing. For me, the signing is a B. And that assumes it's a low, limited, guaranteed money because there's never been a bad one-year deal with little to no guaranteed money that's low risk, something resembling high reward. And just like Chuma Adoga earlier today, as we called it on our Monday show, these are Trojan signings. They're protection signings. I think we all know what I'm alluding to there. These are deals that do not really impact your draft plans. If you still want to take it back in the top 75, top 50, top 100, top whatever, you can still do that. You don't have to make sure you leave the draft, though, with the running back. It just sets you up truly to go BPA as much as humanly possible. That's what Ronald Jones is. He's a depth piece. I harbor no long-term expectations of he's going to be a 600-yard rusher. I'm unconvinced he makes your roster. But for the likely money here, having him as on, the, on camp in case of injuries, adding some more speed to your roster, former big play guy at both Tampa and at USC, or in Tampa, I should say, that begins to make sense for me. So as it sits right now, four running backs under contract. Tony Pollard, who I was on the franchise tag, Ronald Jones on a one-year deal. Rico Dowdle, more on him at the end of today's show, back on a one-year deal from this morning. Malik Davis, the former UDFA, under team control for two more years. So that's where we're at uh, from the standpoint uh, of the running backs. Pollard, Jones, Davis, Dowdle. I do feel pretty darn confident that you will see a running back taken by this Cowboys team in the 2023 NFL Draft. We promised you guys a second video today. You kind of got, in a way, two of them, because uh, we went live for this, filming this live right now, and we still put this out on demand in case, you know, you have a job or something, you can't watch live, we get it. 
when you subscribe and your notifications are set to all, you won't miss anything here on the Cowboys Report. YouTube.com slash at Cowboys TV. Free videos every single day right here on the Cowboys Report. After Chuma Adoga this morning, Ronald Jones joins the Dallas Cowboys. And in an ideal world, he makes the roster. He, he a draft pick, Tony Pollard, and probably one of Malik Davis, Rico Dowdle, either practice squad, RB4, whatever. And Ronald Jones looks more like the 2020 version of Rojo, where he was almost a 1,000-yard receiver. I don't think you're going to get that player. I think you might get more like, you know, 2021, 2019, not that different of, of a player, right? Fewer touches, fewer scores, fewer yards, but the average was the same. Now, 4.2 is better than what the guy you just cut averaged the past couple of years, but, you know, he's not the same pass protector that he is, and he clearly didn't play that much in Kansas City. So the expectations here are and should be low. What's your one-word reaction to signing Ronald Jones? Sound off for me in the comment section. One word and one word only. Let me know right now. My word, again, depth. That's what Rojo is. He's not going to be a high-end impact player, I would think. But he does give you preseason, training camp, injury depth. This is a classic Cowboys signing. It's not an earth-shattering move. But if you need to, you might have a piece you can, you can give some carries to throughout the season. We did promise Rico Dowdle conversation. He re-signed earlier this morning with the Dallas Cowboys. I, I assume, again, this is a one-year deal. Rico Dowdle was an RFA. He was not tendered by the Cowboys because the RFA tender approaches $2-plus million. The deal I bet he got was like the one-year vet minimum. Fight for a rush, but I'll give you a little bit of signing bonus money to, you know, thank you for signing type of deal. Dowdle will once again fight for a back end of the roster spot along with Malik Davis and along with the newly signed Ronald Jones. As for those of you wondering about B. John Robinson, about drafting a running back here, the Cowboys, I think, pretty clear and obvious plan is to set themselves up with, we're going BPA. You, you, you don't need a backup quarterback anymore. Your running back spot is probably fine. I still think you draft somebody. Receiver is not an, an obvious need here at this stage. Tight end, you could survive. But much like running back, it's a great class. I bet you draft one. Offensive line, I still kind of want to draft somebody because I don't trust Tyron Smith. But you don't have to, have to, have to now because you've got, in theory, nine or more offensive linemen you can put on your roster. Defensive tackle, still an area of concern. Defensive end is fine. I think we're forgetting about Damone Clark. That's fine. With Between Van Der Esch, Clark, Jabril Cox, Devin Harper, etc. There you go. Cornerback set, safety is set. You can pretty much go BPA now if you want to in the draft. The Cowboys had three visits, free agency-wise, on Monday. Ronald Jones, Chuma Adoga have both now signed Traven Howard, the former Rams linebacker, uh, overlap with Bones Fossil, special teams-wise. He is unsigned as of this point. Maybe he'll sign, maybe he won't, but the Cowboys making some pretty obvious moves here of their free agency visits. Rojo Chuma Adoga, the latest members of the Dallas Cowboys in the first two outside free agent pickups so far. Of the two signings, which one is better? RJ for Ronald Jones or CE for Chuma Adoga. Those are the two pickups made at this stage. So go ahead, sound off for me in the comment section. What move did you think was a better move for the Dallas Cowboys? RJ, CE, get those votes in for me in the comments section. Not so fast. As we had wrapped up the Ronald Jones news of our live show, Dante Fowler re-signs with the Dallas Cowboys. We do not have, as of filming, the actual nitty-gritty contract details. We do know it is a reported one-year deal for Dante Fowler, broken by Calvin Watkins, Dallas Morning News. Uh, one-year deal. I'll set the over under at about $3 million bucks. what he made uh, last year. There had been reports on day one of free agency. The Cowboys working hard to bring him back. 
I think they were working, but I think working hard may have been a bit of a, a deceptive. I don't think he was the uh, – I think he was the same uh, type of uh, priority for this organization. But he is back on a one-year deal. This is where your defensive end depth chart currently sits. Micah Parsons, Tank Lawrence, Dorrance Armstrong, Sam Williams, Chauncey Golson. I think he's going to play a lot more defensive tackle, three technique, some five technique as the DE uh, this year. Dante Fowler, meanwhile, also back. So you do not have to draft a defensive lineman. Unless you uh, you feel the need to uh, from that standpoint. If there's a guy you love, you can still take him because it's only a one-year deal for Fowler. Dorrance Armstrong's last year of his deal. You know, Sam Williams is still a young rookie. Mike, of course, is a core piece for you. Dante Fowler did outplay his contract last year. Finished the year with six sacks as mainly a pass rush specialist. Clearly, Dan Quinn likes him. The edge depth remains impactful, impressive once again. But... He did tail off down the stretch. He wasn't as impactful as he was as the season went along, but six sacks there for Dante Fowler. He sticks around as a member of the Dallas Cowboys organization. Very curious what ends up happening with the exact money. I'm sure we will know that in the not-too-distant future, but Dante Fowler entering his second year now as a member of the Cowboys organization He's back. I got to see the money because I, I don't want to overpay for my fifth edge. You still have great depth there. You could have drafted somebody if you wanted to. But Fowler returns, which I'm fine with. I certainly can't yell at the Cowboys for making moves. They've given the previous you know decade of not doing anything. But are you happy that Dante Fowler is back? Money pending. Why for yes and for no or yes slash no? Get those votes in in the comments section.